What's up guys, it's me back here, and today I'll be telling you some of my favorite Roblox games and least favorite Roblox games. Today's category is FPS and third person shooter games, so let's get right into this. Here's how we'll be rating the games, rating them from unplayable to frog tier, unplayable sucks, frog tier is my favorite, top tier is the highest most games will possibly even be able to get into frog tier can only have a max of two games in it at a time so let's get right into it first we start off with riot fall i believe riot fall is an okay game however its animations are not the greatest its jumping height and movement are not the greatest however i do say it's an easy game to pick up there's not too many very competitive players in it and it's easy to get into it is a cod ripoff though so i can only put it into the honorable tier if you want it to have good gun models and graphics though play riot fall i'd say it's kind of like the new flashpoint of roblox now aim blocks aim blocks i gotta put in playable i'm sorry i l actually no, i'm gonna put in on blocks the reason is because i like aim blocks however it's movement is not my favorite as well as its guns are not my absolute best they're not the absolute best in my opinion however that is just my opinion i know a lot of people love aim blocks movement and guns one big issue i also find with it is the competitiveness of it i feel like sometimes it's even more competitive than arsenal as especially with all of the different competitions being held around it on YouTube. Speaking of Arsenal, our next game is Arsenal. I'm going to put this in the playable category. The reason is because even though multiple people, actually a huge amount of people love Arsenal, I gotta say, I cannot deal with its no scoping in and its no sprinting. I don't know why the creators of Arsenal allow that into the game or why they added those things or more like didn't add them but it really ruins the experience of the game for me however it's still an okay game with the graphics and how the guns feel next we go to unit classified made by the same creators as arsenal i gotta say unit classified is also a playable game but not the best it is better than arsenal though i think i like the it, it I think that I like its models and movement. However, its guns could use a little bit of a power buff. Its snipers don't feel strong, even though they can one-shot in a lot of cases. I do love its trick shot ability, though. That's why I put it in playable. However, it's leagues above Arsenal. Next, we go to Operation Scorpion. I'm gonna put this game in honorable. The reason is because while I do not like its movement or guns, it's a very strategy based game and its graphics are fantastic. It also runs well. So if you want a pure strategy shooter game, play it. It's also very much like Rainbow Six Siege. So if you want to play Rainbow Six, but on Roblox, because I don't know if Rainbow Six is free, I don't think it is. Play Operation Scorpion. Now, Caliber. I'm also gonna put this in playable, sadly. It's just like Arsenal. Nope. Similar art style, similar gameplay. The only thing I like about it more than Arsenal is the fact that its movement is better. However, I still wouldn't recommend it. That's all I can really say on it. Now we go to Flashpoint. Now, I feel bad to say I have to put in the bad Clash and Axis tier. I love the game. I used to play it hours. I would play it at lunchtime even at school because I go to virtual school. The only issues with it is its player base is dead now. And I don't know why. I do. But its graphics are amazing gunplay is pretty nice it just doesn't get updated though and 
YouTubers stop talking about it, and when a co and when content isn't promoted, no one can find the content. And if no new players are coming, the player base is constantly dropping to the point where sometimes you'll see less than 10 players in the game. It is it's very tragic. Now we go to counter blocks. This is going into the bad slash inactive tier, but for the bad side of it. Its movement is not the greatest. Its gunplay is definitely not the greatest. Its map design is basically choke point after choke point with no variability. And its chats are always filled with toxic seven year olds who think that they're cool by playing the game because the people in the cover of the game look like terrorists. Now I gotta say, first of all, that's not a healthy thing for seven year olds to believe is cool. Terrorists are not cool. Second of all, it's making a lot of people mean on the internet. And they're not gonna understand that that is not the standard. They're going to be going around now onto Discord and things when they get a little bit older and everyone's gonna hate them, which can cause them a lot of pain and be like, why does everyone hate me? Little do they know, it all started with a little thing on Roblox years ago called Counter Blocks. It's probably not gonna be that dramatic though. They're just gonna get hated on a little bit. Depending on what community they end up going to in the future. Energy Assault is the opposite of Counter Blocks though. I think it has a it has a similar style to Counter Blocks, but with better map design, better gunplay. I actually love the gunplay. Because while the guns don't have a lot of recoil, for some reason they feel impactful still. I think that their scoped in view is very nice. And it's maps. Oh, it's maps are top tier. I seldomly, eh, I've rarely seen a game on Roblox with better map design than Energy Assault. The only map that sucks though is the one that's snowy and has the thing in the center. That map is just plain area, not good. I also am not a big fan of the map with the cornfields or wheat or tall yellow grass stuff fields because people just hide in there and you get killed by them next game is phantom forces phantom forces i have to put in top tier just because of how original of a game it is well it's not really original but it's just been in the roblox community so long i feel like it's never really going to truly die its movement's nice its models are okay yet they're a little outdated Player models, I feel like, have gotten upgraded in updates a lot more than I used to. The only problem with Phantom Forces is that its community can be toxic. Less toxic than it used to be a few years ago, though. And its gun balancing is horrendous. You see people using a few guns, and then the next month they're using a few set of different guns. And that's it. Sometimes it's even as bad as, if you're a good player... You use one gun. For example, for a while it was the Honey Badger. For actually a pretty long time it was the Honey Badger. I even used to swell with the Honey Badger. I still suck though. And then we have Bad Business, which I'd say is the opposite of Phantom Forces. Everyone thought it was going to replace Phantom Forces. And I feel like it kind of did that. But it got too competitive, too sweaty, and too fast paced. So I can really only put it in the honorable. It's just, I feel like you can't play it casually anymore. It's not something that's as feasible unless you are a really good FPS player. Then we have Recoil, the opposite of Bad Business. I have to put this in top tier with Phantom Forces. It's kind of like Bad Business, however, I like this style a little bit more. It's gunplay, I think it's a little bit better. It's movement's definitely not as good. But it's not as fast paced and competitive. So I think it's a better game for newer people to FPS shooters or people who just do not want to pure sweat and grind for hours a day. That's all I gotta say about recoil. 
Oh, as well, there's some cool things, like you can call in a missile or a helicopter and stuff, which really spices up gameplay, and it makes you want to improve your KD. Not to have a better KD, but the more kills you get, you can unlock that stuff in the game and use it to your advantage. It really pushes you to become better without forcing you to have to. Then we have Big Paintball. Its maps are very flat. Open area to get shot, which is especially a big issue when everything is a one-shot weapon. I feel like... I don't know if there's even any drop in the game. Bullet drop. But it feels like there is. Also, there's tons of spawn camping. I have some really bad slash inactive tier. Not unplayable yet, though. However, if you play this for more than 15 minutes, you have issues. Then we go to Struthid. And yes, I know I'm skipping Poly Paddle. Struthid, I put in the playable tier. I think it's fun gameplay. It's not too competitive. It's gunplay is okay. I don't find that you take that much ball damage, though. The only benefit I say that it has, which makes it a playable game, is it doesn't have too competitive a community, but sometimes you can find competitive segments of it if you want to be competitive. And it's good if you want to like get the Fortnite Zone Wars feeling without having to deal with people being like, <laughs> I'm not going to scream. You not having to deal with nine-year-olds screaming in their mic and eating Cheetos. Also, if you don't want to have to load in Fortnite, because... If I can take a few minutes and I'm lazy, you're probably lazy too. If you say that you're not lazy, you're a liar. And then we go to. Brr, brr. I just made a plant sound. Then you go to Jailbird. I say Jailbird goes in the playable category. Its guns aren't that good, its movement is not that good. But at least you can like shoot doors and windows and that part that you shoot breaks, not the whole thing. Which I feel like is a very good thing to play around with for a while. And I want to see if other big games will look at Jailbird and learn from it and try to do that by itself. For example, if a game with movement and stuff like Phantom Forces did that, I think that game would be almost perfect as long as it fixes the issues with Phantom Forces. And then we go to Rush Point. I gotta say, I do not like the guns in Rush Point. The gameplay is not the best, but I feel like the major flaw in Rush Point is its map. Its maps are too big for its player base, as well as the fact sometimes I'll see 200 players on the game, other times I'll see five players on the game. I don't even know how that works. I'm pretty sure in the gameplay I took of the game was one of the times where there was like 10, 15 players on the game. Total. Not in the match, in the game total. Which means finding a match is gonna take a little longer, I think. But I'm pretty sure that a game may be able to start with less than the needed players to max out all teams. It's just, it's not the best in a pinch though, because you never know how it's gonna be. So I say it's in the unplayable category though. However, I do think its models are good, and whoever modeled the game, good job to you. You put your soul and effort into a sucky game. But that's some pretty good work, if I do say so myself. Now we have Poly Battle. Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta go. I gotta go on a rant. I'm gonna roll up my sleeve. Can't hear that. I may add some rolling sleeve noises. Okay. Let me take off my pop filter and windscreen. I'm gonna go right up to the mic and say this. Poly Battle is the worst game I've ever seen in my life. The thing starts off with a pop-up. Its maps suck. Its vehicles suck. Its guns suck. Its movement sucks. The only people who play the game are people with no life and are trying for the first time. How do you even start up a game and instantly it's like, Do you want to buy this thing from the game, bro? Let's, let's. Let's, let's hone in on that. Poly Battle is a game targeted towards kids. You are... That's worse than 
the other game that was targeting kids. This one. I don't even remember what it's called. I think counter blocks. Because while counter blocks makes kids toxic, this makes kids waste their money. That's a very bad thing to do. I gotta put it in its own category. That's why I'm doing it last. I'm going to be renaming the category from sorting, which was just so I can move the stuff. I'm going to be renaming it to Poly Battle. Because that's how bad I think the game is. In my opinion, it should even be removed from Roblox, okay? Roblox should take it off its platform and ban the game or something. Well, that's my tier list. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's probably not the most entertaining thing ever, because I am a new YouTuber. I'm not used to being on mic. But, I think I did an okay job. I'd love it if you liked and subscribed. Peace out. See you in the next video.